Okay guys, it's 12.40, so it's 12.40, so I'm about like 10 minutes late. Yeah, I'm about 10 minutes late, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't think my mom is here. So, because of that, it doesn't matter. Let me text my papa, because I didn't see his car. I have my purse with gloss and glasses. My papa isn't here either, so I beat everyone here, which is fine. Oh no. I like the blue. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to the um, name tag. Name tag. Yeah, I'm so mad about that. It's supposed to be Okay guys, so I'm on the way to campus right now. It's it's 8.37 and it's been a pretty productive Monday so far, I guess in terms of like self-care. I didn't really have time to do that much on or study, but it's okay, I guess. Um, I have two lectures today and then I have a class, a town meeting, because I'm a class rep. So I have to try to stay longer on campus. I hope they provide lunch because I did not bring my lunch. So we're just gonna pray. And I'm probably gonna be like walking in when lecture starts because it's almost 8.40, but it's the fact that I got up at 6.15, 6.25. I did all of this, so it doesn't matter because I'm still going. I'm making a TikTok too, so. <laughs> Y'all, I have like so many chargers. It's ridiculous. Everywhere I look, I have another charger. <laughs> it's really starting to irk me like that. Why do I have so many chargers? Okay guys, so I left campus and I'm now at Sam's Club because it's time to grocery shop um, really quick. Another thing is I'm pretty sure I'm shadowing an anesthesiologist tomorrow. I freaking seven, I literally did get my flu shot. These bitches are delusional. Um, anyways, what was I saying? So I'm pretty sure I, I'm shouting an anesthesiologist tomorrow. Luckily, it's in my hometown, so it's not too far from here. I am just pretty sure that I have to have some forms done. Yeah, so I have to have proof of COVID-19 and flu shot, and I have to text the guy. Um, I'm gonna call my cousin too this evening let me see i really thought that i got my flu shot not too long ago but i'm gonna check the cvs app let's see vaccinations so i need to go to health records because if i haven't then i'll just stop at cvs on the way back and get a flu shot so yeah i have not had a flu shot yet so we're gonna see if i can schedule it I really hope that I can be like in and out here because 
It's 2 11. Yeah, I'm starving too. I want to eat so freaking bad. I'm starving. It's 2 11 and I still have to study. And I have, I literally have to go to sleep early. Why don't they have any? A, a flu shot at 3 15. So we're finna go grocery shopping and pick up some things so I can, you know, no longer starve. I never know which way to face this. I'm back home. For some reason, it just took CBS forever to get my shot done. I don't know what was up with them. It was short little grocery haul. We got three packs of turkey bacon. I was very tempted to get just regular pork bacon because I love pork bacon. Um, I know some people don't like that. I love it. I was like, you know what? I'm doing really well with eating turkey bacon, so I'm gonna just stick to it. Then we have some salmon fillets. I was really hoping that um, the Sam's Club would have salmon burgers because the Sam's Club by my house sells salmon burgers and they're so good. Since I'm shadowing near my house tomorrow, I might just stop by Sam's Club and see if they're selling the salmon burgers because you guys, those are just so good and they're so quick and easy to make as well. But I'm kind of feeling salmon tonight anyway. Two servings, so we have two plates. I also got these mini quiche for a snack. I used to love these when I was younger, like when I was living with my mom at school. So this, it has like eggs, cheese, and pastry crust. It comes with ham and Swiss and spinach and Swiss cheese. And I have the Chobani Greek yogurt, of course. I like to add some granola into it or add it to my smoothie for extra protein. The Jenny O fresh brown turkey. And this came with, I don't know, I think these are four pounds, two pounds of ground turkey. I just feel like every time I go to Sam's Club, I might as well just restock on all of my meats because I know eventually within the month, I'm gonna want that meat. Like I don't typically go a month of, you know, no chicken or no at least ground turkey or ground beef because it's such a versatile thing. You know, you can make it with, you can use it for pasta or burgers or meatloaf, whatever. I just like to have it. So in case it's time to cook, I have something. I then, Sam's Club, they have like really good vegan stuff and I'm not vegan by any means, but I am trying to eat healthier and I have a sweet tooth. So I like to find all of the things that make me feel healthy, like when I want something sweet. So I found these mini crunchy cookies. This comes in a 20 pack. It's called Partake Chocolate Chip Cookies. And it's nut free, egg free, wheat free, dairy free, soy free, fish free, shellfish free, mustard free, and sesame free. So I hope that they taste good and we'll see. Thought this would be a nice little snack to add in my lunchbox when I'm going to class and studying. So. Hopefully it tastes good. The most important thing that I said is I try to eat healthy. I try. But sometimes we fail and that's okay because that's why I also got this cookie dough. <laughs> this chocolate chip cookie dough, 75 servings, 76 cookies. I just felt like for nights where I just want something sweet, this should last me a while. Because so if I'm eating 20 cookies in like one sitting, then I have a problem, like a real problem. We have chicken. Y'all, this chicken lasts me so freaking long, like at least a month is what it will last me. So these are just six pounds of chicken breast tenderloins. I honestly might leave it out because I'm in the mood for another chicken Caesar salad tonight. I am, so I think I'm gonna leave it out. Now I'm about to warm up some food because when I tell you guys that I'm starving, I promise you I'm not being dramatic. I mean, so far, I really thought, I think that I'm probably gonna chill and maybe take a nap and get up around 5, 5.30 to study. I need to go to sleep early. Okay guys, so it's around 9.30 and I literally took the bombest nap ever. It was just seriously the bombest snap ever. I did not want to wake up. 
but I was like, I gotta go over just some of the stuff, just some of the stuff, and I ended up going over a lot of things. Um, I did a lot more of my flashcards, and I did a lot of practice questions. I did some practice questions on um, cardiac physiology, and one of the things that I see that I'm having a lot of trouble with is the cardiac cycle in terms of like matching what's happening on the graph and on the electrogram so that is definitely something that i have to work on <sighs> these upcoming weeks i mean i do have two weeks until my next exam however i just don't want to wait last minute because there's just going to be some other harder stuff i already know like i know that i'm gonna have upper limb embryology as well to go over and embryology is kind of hard because there's so many steps and it's a lot so i know that i can't be too behind on everything else but luckily it's really just the cardiac cycle a little bit of electrophysiology that i'm having trouble with so i'm gonna try to study that a little bit tomorrow i do think that i'm done for the day just because i have to wake up a little bit not even a little bit i have to wake up a lot earlier tomorrow i have to go to a hospital that's about it's really not that far for me i want to say like about 30 minutes without traffic but if there is traffic definitely longer because it's on i-75 south and 9 to 10 30 and that's basically like you can do whatever and my professor is holding a lipid metabolism a lipid metabolism review but i really won't be able to go to it because i'm gonna be shadowing which is fine and then i do think i do have a class um 11 o'clock i have to see what class it is i'm really gonna hope that it's a fundamentals of medicine class because i really don't want to watch a lecture when i get back and if it's a fundamentals of medicine i don't have to I do know that I'm meeting with my learning community on Zoom tomorrow, so not really fun, <laughs> but that's what I'll be doing. At least it's on Zoom though, so it's not like I have to go back to campus, so I can really just come home and stay home. And yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and eat a quick dinner. Another one of my goals is to edit like a day like a, a day that i record each day to make it easier on myself to push these videos out because i'm about two videos behind so i'm gonna take a shower edit a little bit and go to sleep and i will see you guys bright and early tomorrow at 5 a.m okay guys so it's 5 46 in the morning and I have to print out some forms really quick before I go to the hospital. So I'm at my complex and I'm gonna go use their printer to print it out. When I check the maps, I'm only like 27 minutes away too. So that's great. Why won't this let me send it? Oh my gosh, I have like bad fingers because I just cannot type this right. I just don't get it. Oh my gosh. The fact that it took like 15 minutes to print is actually insane. However, I did tell myself that I probably should have printed this out yesterday before I went to sleep, but I didn't, but still it's insane. I hate technology and I really hope that I have a pen in my car because I meant to take that pen inside the building and I didn't, so we're gonna have to hope that I have a pen in my car. And now my ETA is like 6.33. And this one is um, Reverend Fisher, he's eight years old, and he's been hospitalized for five days. Okay guys, so it's 6.40 and I made it on time. And then I also grabbed some Chick-fil-A. So I'm about to munch on this really quick while I can and fill out this paperwork. And yeah, I have 20 minutes, so go me.